See ya, Bobby. Or should I say ciao? Bobby Duncan's Liverpool exits taking just one or two headlines following his move to Fiorentina. The 18-year-old makes the move to Florence, having scored 32 goals in his only season in the Liverpool Academy, in which the young Reds beat Manchester City to the FA Youth Cup title. With Duncan now at the picture, though, it could just open the door for the next bunch of Barry Lutz's youngsters to shine and even look to emulate Trent Alexander-Arnold in Jurgen Klopp's first team. Well, let's take a look at some of those then, shall we? and those who are highly rated and could well look to form the backbone of another potential FA Youth Cup success. First up on our list is Leighton Stewart. Having only just turned 17, Stewart's no stranger to the under-18 setup, having made his debut under Steven Gerrard at just 15 years old. The homegrown talent shown an eye for goal, having been a prolific scorer right through the age groups with Liverpool. Tall, hard-working and having good aerial strength all play into Stewart's hands as he makes the step up to the under-18s on a regular basis and I'll be looking to hone those attributes with the Reds holding out high hopes for him going forward. Another of the hot prospects at Kirby is Jake Kane. A year older than Stewart, Kane has already made a big impression on the academy staff at Liverpool given his role in the FA Youth Cup success. A creative midfielder who's also shown versatility having played on the left, he helped the young Reds to the last 16 of last season's UEFA Youth League 2, picking up 12 assists in all competitions. We're now into his second year as a scholar, Kane could see his responsibilities increase as he continues to go from strength to strength at the Liverpool Academy, which he's been part of now for over half his life, having joined as an under-9. When it comes to stepping up and taking on responsibility, Kane may well be looking to mirror Fidel O'Rourke in that sense. The 17-year-old's not only impressed with his ability on the pitch, but also in how he's been able to lead his fellow scholars. Despite being in his formative years, O'Rourke's captain the side a number of times under Barry Lutus, and with Paul Glatzel having moved up to the under-23s and Bobby Duncan leaving, O'Rourke could be one of the key beneficiaries, having competed with both for game time in the past. And last on our list is Niall Brookwell, the hard-working Wigan-born midfielder. Like Leighton Stewart made his impact on the under-18s when he was still just 15, scoring for the side then under the stewardship of Steven Gerrard. Well, despite making his debut two seasons ago now, Brookwell's had to show patience since then during the more recent stages of his development. But now back in the mix on a regular basis, he's wasted little time recently scoring and assisting in a dramatic 4-3 win over Manchester United. So there's certainly the hallmarks of a Liverpool player in there. So while Bobby Duncan may have seen the need to move on to pastures new, there's plenty of other shining examples coming out of Kirby right now. And you never know, we may just see one or more of these faces competing for a spot in Jurgen Klopp's squad in the coming seasons. 